I'm Jamie Andick from GearWire.com with Jeffrey G from Vital Arts Media, and we are going to be look, looking at a demonstration of the Plectra. It's a virtual instrument. Hi, Jeffrey. Thank you. <laughs> All right, give us a give us a little overview. Okay, this is um, uh, the Plectrum virtual instrument is uh, is a library I created with prepared instruments, found sounds, and habitats. I licensed the Tascam GBI engine, which allows me to have a, a sample playback engine that plays back 96 kilohertz, 24-bit samples, as many as I want to put under a key. So let me just start with the Yamaha C7 piano. I'll turn it up a little bit so that Mike can get it a little bit. Here's... At first you'd think that doesn't sound anything like a piano. Well, it doesn't really sound like a piano being played, but down here I scraped the strings. Up here, I strummed them. So it ends up being a completely different sound. But it's completely acoustic at the same time. So there's nine categories, starting with strum strings. I'll show you one other strum strings that we did. It's the farm piano. Uh, So that piano was out of tune in a real beautiful way, and so I recorded those strums. We also did some struck strings. In the struck string vase, we'll load it. And as we're loading here, you can see it's loading an entire category of sounds ready to play, you know, gigabytes of material. Uh, so it's loading the, the, the struck strings. The sound that I'm about to play comes from my playing a Yamaha C7 piano with my fingertips. But the attack comes from collisions of silver on a pillow. And if you do that, 10 times, you get a really nice sound, one out of 10 times. And I collected a lot of these. And then I put a round robin series on each note. So when you strike, when you strike a note more than once, you almost never get the same thing. And so it doesn't sound like a synth anymore. Because it's all acoustic. So we also did harmonics, or we did, did uh, piano harmonics. If you reach and play a piano with your, with your key and you stop the note in, in a harmonic uh, division of the string, you get harmonics, just like a guitarist does. But I did this on the piano, and then I remapped it back to where they would appear on the keyboard for you. So I did that. I did guitar harmonics, a full set of guitar harmonics. And then I'll show you just one way to maybe play the harmonics. If you look at my hands again, I'll show you this. Um, if I play the same two notes, but I'll play them harder, and you get the harmonic series. So now I can play. So those are some of the prepared instruments I did. And I also did some found sounds, uh, for example, um, glasses. So you could, you could search the world for a great gamelan orchestra, or you could just take what's in your kitchen and just tap it a bunch of times. We can put as many samples as we want to using this Tascam engine. So here's a glass ensemble. So you play them like a keyboard, and they're tuned and pitched to play like a keyboard instrument, but they come from materials that are real in real environments, but the instruments never existed before. That's the, the concept uh, behind uh, Plectrum. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Jeffrey. Thank you very much. I'm Jamie Andick. This is GearWire.com covering AES 2007. Thank you.